Mobility is important in the Royal Air Force Police. If you can't already drive, you're taught before the start of your six weeks basic police training. As a security specialist working within a select and highly skilled team, you must be able to act fast, efficiently, and on your own if need be. The maintenance of security on your base or unit is as much your individual responsibility as that of the team. That's what makes RAF police work especially rewarding and valuable both for yourself and the service. It's a special way of life that demands a high degree of self-confidence and initiative. You've passed. With a good working knowledge of service and civil police law under your belt, your basic training continues with communications instruction and ground defense. You learn to handle automatic pistols and submachine guns until they're second nature. And as well as plenty of sport, your physical fitness training includes unarmed combat. Not the kung fu of the movies, but more practical and sensible methods. If you volunteer for dog handling, you take a further seven-week training course that introduces you to every aspect of one of the most interesting branches of police work. Then, with your basic police training successfully completed, you pass out with the rank of acting corporal and move on to your first operational unit. The value of aircraft used by the Royal Air Force runs to hundreds of millions of pounds, and they are especially vulnerable on the ground. Their security becomes one of your main responsibilities. You carry out frequent patrols, constantly varying your route and timetable, maintaining close radio contact all the while with base. Expensive ground installations also need your protection. Regular checks discourage interference. The troubled world scene now makes it essential that aircraft should be checked internally as well. With experience and training, you soon get to know all the places where a device could be hidden by the would-be saboteur. You're thorough, you take your time. Lives could depend on your skill. Morning, sir. Passengers and their baggage have to be cleared too, of course. You learn how to do this essential work with tact and efficiency. But in spite of all your precautions, there's always one that gets away. After four years or so, you may want to train for more advanced police work. This could be working with specialist dog teams or joining the service's special investigations and counterintelligence branches. To show you some of the skills involved, let's join a routine patrol at RAF Fildenrath, Germany. <laughs> Photography, essential for recording evidence, is part of your advanced training. So is fingerprinting and other criminal detection methods. Maintaining a low profile, the RAF policemen now set the trap to catch the pickup man. You take that side, I'll take this one. Stand still. I'll take this. And to complete the success of the operation, further precautions are taken. When you were arrested, this envelope was found in your pocket. What is it? And a clue. Where did you get it? I've never seen it before. He must have planted it on me. Quietly and efficiently, the final items of evidence are collected and the crime ring broken. 
The thoroughness that is necessary to all good police work has been ably backed up by skill and patience. I must caution you that you are not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but what you say may be put into writing and given in evidence. Do you understand that? Yes. Do you wish to make a statement? If you prefer an outdoor life with opportunities and responsibility, the Royal Air Force Police could be very much for you. Thank you.